Timbers 360 is presented by Toyota. Welcome to this week's edition of Timbers 360. I'm your host, Jake Sivan. This is an extremely busy week for the Portland Timbers. Three games in eight days. A stretch that concludes tomorrow night away at Real Salt Lake. It began with a loss at Colorado last Saturday, and then the Timbers returned home to host the Western Conference leaders LA Galaxy on Wednesday night. Let's take a look at a recap from that match and hear from the team. A defeat at Colorado at the weekend has Portland returning home looking to kickstart the playoff push. What a matchup against the top dogs in the Western Conference, LA Galaxy. Portland fans arriving, looking to get behind their team as they look to move up the Western Conference standing and looking to Evander for inspiration and creativity. Rodriguez, lovely ball out wide. Beautiful pace on it. Evander, equally good, oh. back to Rodriguez. Give, go, go. Pull the Timbers at the very best. There, now they come the other way. Evander, Moreno, edge of the penalty area, pulls it back. Evander, it's strike oh. 2-0. Oh, he's so silky in possession. One touch, two touch, boom, 2-0. He's been the star of the show. Oh, go! Go! Flick forward, played in behind for Rodriguez. Rodriguez inside the area, goes down. Evander! No penalty, it doesn't matter. Evander on hand again. Second goal on the night for him. And Portland restored a two-goal cushion. Looking for a first touch, Moreno says, no, I'm going to play you in behind. Cuevas beaten for pace, cross comes in, Felipe Mora, scores! Talk about an instant impact from a substitute. Anthony out wide, pinpoint with the delivery, and Felipe Mora might, might have just sealed it for Portland. Really good ovation from the home fans. They know they have been entertained tonight. Big victory in terms of the playoff picture for Phil Neville's men. Guys, we're so close to breaking through. We've got to keep concentrating. Concentration, discipline. Trust the plan. Believe in the plan. Execute the plan. That's the most important thing because you know when pe when teams come here in the playoffs, we'll win. We know it. We can feel it. They know it. We know it. So we just got to keep believing. You know, we were really confident before the game. I think when the, when we we come to Providence Park, uh, I think I think we play we play to that level. Uh, it's not above the level that I expect. It's at the level that I. Uh, it's the level of the players, and I think uh, they play with enjoyment. I thought we started the game actually a little bit nervously in the first ten minutes, maybe overly cautious about probably what they were going to do. And then I think they, they grew into the game. The three DPs were phenomenal. I think I think before the game, I said to Dave Vandenberg and the staff, I said probably going to be a game where the DPs were going to win it. Whichever DP showed up, whichever DPs scored goals and produced moments, the, that team was going to win. I think Galaxy and us are a little bit like that in terms of the way that our DPs, the front fours of both teams control how the results go. And uh, and we're just pleased that we had the best DPs on the pitch tonight. And I think in Evander we've got we've got someone that's playing to an MVP level. And, and you know, I've said it from probably in the first month of the season. I think I said he's the best number 10 in the league. People laughed at me, people questioned me, people thought I was uh, joking. But I think what, what we see in training, what I see every day, what I saw when I tried to sign him for Inter Miami, what I saw when he came to Portland is, is someone that is, is an incredible footballer with an incredible talent. And uh, we're just proud to have him in our organisation. He's fighting like mad for the team. And uh, I thought Jonathan Rodriguez had his best game tonight as well. Uh, it's a very important three, uh, three points. Uh, very important for us to 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 stay um, to stay in the fight until the end. It's going to go down to the wire most likely, especially because there's six points with I would say six, seven teams ish 
So uh, one win uh, can can change it all. So very happy with the three points today, and uh, we got to shift our focus onto Saturday and to into finishing the, um, the season very well because uh, entering the playoffs with momentum is uh, very dangerous for uh, for any team in the league. Happy. Uh, I think the the game we we've done tonight was was really great after coming from a defeat um, game and stepping up tonight it was it was really good for to get some comfort for the for the rest of the season coming up a recap of the 13th annual stand together week learn about james pantemis's pathway that led him to portland presented by all state and we go on a ride with timber joey and toyota to the bay ocean peninsula Timbers 360 is presented by Toyota. Last week, the Portland Timbers hosted the 13th annual Stand Together Week as the team joined partners, staff, and fans at various projects throughout the Portland metro area. It was a fun-filled week and so much good done in the community. Let's take a look at a short recap of Stand Together Week. The tee-off is the kickoff for this year's Stand Together Week, a week of service throughout the community of Portland and the surrounding areas. A tradition involving thousands of hours of volunteers working to benefit the beautiful place we call home. Feel free to introduce yourself to all the players, our front office staff. We hope you hit them straight and enjoy your time here at Top Golf. Stand Together Week is our annual volunteer week where players, staff, our corporate partners, and our fans go out and do different community service projects throughout the Portland metro area. Every week we have thousands of fans that come into the stadium. Well, this is our way of giving back to the community by going out and completing all these different service projects. We have one of the best fan bases in MLS. And I think for us, it's really important to be able to give back to that community as much as possible throughout the year. It's not just one week. Stand Together is our community platform throughout the year. But this one week is, a, is an especially visible and important moment for us where everyone can really come together and give back. The community is a big thing. You know, the connection with the public, you know. We have a, an incredible fan base that come every single weekend to watch us to watch us play the supporters through every kind of weather results or anything. The players and the club should be immensely proud of the work that we do in the community. There's so much, so much work that does, that, that goes on behind the scenes. The Saturday game is where all the razzmatazz is, but the work that behind the scene that goes on with this football club uh, connecting with the community, I think it's as good as I've ever seen in any club that I've been at. This is a really exciting year for us, and it's the 13th Stand Together Week. Diego's here with us today. This is his 13th Stand Together Week. We have Dave Vandenberg out today, and this is his first Stand Together Week. So it's great to be able to introduce this to our new players and coaches, but at, at the same time, we have so many players who are just, you know, so integral and legendary here in the community. But in the hectic, busy season, it's nice to be able to do something a little different and to join together in doing something that's fun, but also gives back. The Green Day Saviors Tour is almost here. This upcoming Wednesday, September 25th, Providence Park will host their second concert of the year. Alongside Green Day will be the Smashing Pumpkins, Rancid, and the Linda Lindas. You will not want to miss it. For tickets, visit SeatGeek.com. Timbers 360 is presented by Toyota. EAFC 25 has released the player ratings for their new game, and to no surprise, two Portland Timbers were amongst the top 25 in Major League Soccer. We'll let you try to guess who, and we'll go behind the scenes as the players find out their ratings for this year's game. Zach, what do you got there? Got a little Evander special. Brasilero! Oh. 
spending is way too high, my friend. Nah, Take bro, a guess. What do, you, what do you think? What do you think? I saw on, uh, on Twitter. I'm, I think I'm 7-7 seven, seven overall, huh? What do you think your defending is? 6-something? Six 6-4? Six 66? Six. What do you think your shot is? So it should be higher, but I think it's 75 or 76. 73? Yeah, you see? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're gold. <laughs> no. It's not rare, but it's gold. Goalkeeper James Pantemis joined the Portland Timbers earlier this year. But how did he get to this point? How did he start playing the game? We'll find out on The Pathway, presented by Allstate. My name is James Pantemis, goalkeeper for the Portland Timbers, and this is my pathway. Grew up in Montreal, Quebec, in Canada. Uh, pretty much born and raised there until I left to come here to Portland. I started playing when I was four years old. Uh, again, just in my local community, I was playing as a striker, actually, until I was 10 years old, 10, 11 years old, and then I made the switch to goalkeeper. How many goals did you I was a pretty good striker. I was a good striker, I was just lazy, that was my problem, so. Goalkeeper? Yeah, it was it was it was my understanding that they didn't have to run that much, but I didn't know that how much we had to work. Favorite player growing up has to be Iker Casillas. Um, just watching him in international tournaments and obviously like Champions League, someone I grew up idolizing. It was one of the first jerseys I ever got in as well. Uh, as a kid, still have it back home in Montreal, so definitely Iker Casillas. Yeah, I mean, I started a uh, pregame routine back when I was, I would say, like 16, 17 years old. I have candy before every game. It's got to be five Sour Patch candies, meaning every single color. If I don't have every single color, it's a big problem. So I opened my bag when I was a kid at one point, and I had a leftover bag of candy, and there was five left, one of each color. I had them before the game, played an amazing game, and then that was it. I, had to, I st stuck with it. Only five. Only five. I think a bag before a game is a bit excessive, but only five. Best advice I would say uh, would probably be you're only as good as your last game. Yeah, you could have a great game uh, on any given Saturday, but the past is the past when you go to the next one, right? Like it's three points, sure, in the bag, but uh, you got the next week and after we need another three points and no one really cares about what you did last week and only really care about what you do the next one. So that would be it probably just you're never as good as your last game. Timbers 360 is presented by Toyota. On this edition of Toyota Let's Go Places, Timber Joey takes us out to the beautiful Bay Ocean Peninsula just outside of Tillamook. Welcome to the beautiful Bay Ocean Peninsula on this episode of Let's Go Places brought to you by our friends at Toyota. I love coming to the Oregon coast, not only for the beautiful scenery like you see behind me, but also for the wildlife. Here on the Bay Ocean Peninsula, we have black bear, black-tailed deer, Roosevelt elk, and tons and tons of birds to look at and enjoy.
Right behind me is the Tillamook Bay where five rivers come together. The Miami, Kilchis, Wilson, Trask, and of course, the Tillamook River. So as we walk this trail from the bay side out to the ocean side, we've come across a lot of things, signs of wildlife, even saw a snake and a chipmunk. But now we have a bunch of berries that we can take in. We have Himalayan blackberries. We also have salmon berries that I've seen a few pop up. They're bright orange and delicious. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Let's Go Places with our friends at Toyota. See you next time. Timbers 360 is presented by Toyota. Only two regular season Portland Timbers home matches remain. The team is on the playoff hunt and they need your support to make their final push. To come out and cheer the team on, visit Timbers.com forward slash tickets for all your options. Thanks for watching Timbers 360 presented by Toyota.